Earlier this year, Gigabyte launched its new series of motherboards, the 100 series. These motherboards support the new Intel 6th generation CPU that offers big improvements over the last generation. Some of the big improvements include big performance gains over the last generation, enhanced support for DDR4, support for USB 3.1 over USB Type-C, and better base clock tuning for enhanced overclock support. On top of that, the launch of Windows 10, the affordability of DDR4 memory, and support for Intel's new NVMe SSDs make it the perfect time to upgrade your computer to a new system. Most users own systems that are 5 to 8 years old. These systems might be able to run some games, but the performance will be lacking. Today, we're going to run some benchmarks comparing an older 2010 era system to show you guys why you have to upgrade. So we've got here, guys, the board by gamers for gamers. To power it, we have on board a 6th gen Intel i5 6600K CPU, which is a lot faster than Intel's 5th gen parts, great for demanding games like GTA 5 and Battlefield 4. To keep this cool, we have a nice uh, Enermax water cooler. Uh, below that, we have 8 gigs of DDR4 Corsair RAM. Now for storage, we have the Intel 750 NVMe SSD. This gets around 2,000 megabytes of transfer speed, which makes really huge games like GTA 5 and Battlefield 4 load very quickly. One of the best features on the G1 gaming board is the LED trace path. This isn't a new feature, but in this version of the board, we have a new app in our app center. It allows you to customize the color, seven colors in total, to be red, blue, green, white, whatever you want really. With the app, you can have three modes to show off the lights. A pulse like this, a still mode, or a beat mode where the lights will pulse with the beat of your music. This is a really cool addition for this board that allows case modders and anyone else with a really cool case to show off the inside and their G1 gaming board. For graphics, we have the excellent Gigabyte WinForce GeForce 980 card. It has three DisplayPort ports, one HDMI port, and two DVI ports. This card will have no problem playing through games like GTA 5 or Battlefield 4 at full HD. So here we have a system from 2010 that you would have had if you were a gamer back then. It has a Gigabyte uh, G1 Sniper 2 motherboard, a GTX 580 from NVIDIA, 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM, a 2nd gen Core i5 CPU, and an Intel X25 series SSD. So now let's benchmark this older 2010 era system to this new Intel 6th gen CPU based system. So right now we have GTA 5 up on the screen. On the bigger part of the screen, that's the G1 gaming system. On the smaller screen is the old system. As you saw in the first benchmark, the new system, it could easily do 30 FPS, very smooth, while the old system really struggled there. 17, 18 FPS, not very good. On this benchmark in GTA 5 of the big outdoor Vinewood screen, you can see that the new system can easily push out 30 FPS while the old one still struggles. So let's take a look now at Catzilla, a very popular benchmarking suite. It's averaging now around uh, 140, uh, 135 FPS. This benchmark is very intensive on both the CPU and GPU. As you can see, the environment is very big and it requires both to really push hard to render this benchmark in HD. We are now moving onto the CPU benchmark and we can definitely see a massive increase in performance on our Z170 Gaming G1 system compared to the old system from 2010. Overall, the scores speak for themselves, and as expected, the G1 system wins hands down. So, if you're looking for a reason to make the upgrade, just look at these scores.
We hope you've learned a lot from these benchmarks and now know why you have to upgrade to the latest 6th gen Intel CPU. For more on our G1 boards, you can visit our website, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.